disposed. I command them to be broken. I said, come out of your life in the name of Jesus. Lord. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus. May God be you spiritual. I said, may God be you spiritual. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name. And again, I want to show you something here. How you can stay free from this barrier. How you can break them in your life. How you can avoid them. How you can stay barrier free. Praise the Lord. Number one, you have to seek Him. You know, I told you last time here, last week, that you have to seek God. Amen. Number one, you have to seek God. Seek God with all your heart. Because God is a spirit. It's only Him that can see spiritual things. Praise God. And anytime you seek God from your heart, the word I do is that you are renewing your spirit man. Because the Bible says, they that must worship Him or serve Him must do that in the spirit and the truth. For God is a spirit. And He's looking for those who are spiritual to serve Him. Praise God. So if you want to be free, from everything that is secret. If the devil must not hide anything from you again, hear me, you must learn to seek God. Can I tell you something? Now I know better. The reason why some people look for something they will not see is because what they are looking for is the worst that can happen is when Light. 
as you receive the life from the word of God, then may you receive solution. May you find the thing that you are looking for. Oh, come on, you are saying amen as if you are not looking for anything. But if there is anything you are looking for, if there is anything that you want God to do for you, I say, as the light will shine, may you find it in the dark. May you find it in where it's hidden. May that thing be exposed to your reach. I say, may that thing be exposed to your reach. May that thing be exposed to your reach. In the name of Jesus, the light will shine. For the entrance of the word of God, give it the light and understanding. The entrance of the word of God, the word of God carries light. It carries light, and when the light shines, that will disappear. And everything that is hidden in dark come to light. The word of God is coming to you right now. It's coming with light. It's coming with light. It's coming with light. It's coming with light. We open your heart and receive this light. I said, open your heart and receive this light. I said, receive the word of God. Let the word come with light. And may this light shine in every area of your life. And from today, from today, from today, that you will never find darkness anywhere around you. Whenever there is any darkness, I command that darkness to disappear. Disappear in your father's house. Disappear in your present life. Disappear in your future, your destiny. Disappear in your hands, in your pocket, in your pursuit, your desire, in your career. Whenever there is a hidden darkness, whenever there is a hidden darkness, as, as I'm preaching right now, the word of God is coming with light. It's coming with light. It's coming with light. It's coming with light. We see this light of the word of God. We see this light that scattered darkness. We see this light that shines and darkness will not comprehend. We see this light that supersedes darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you this hour. I speak to your spirit and soul and your body. I talk to you as a servant of the Lord. I read the word of God to you as a prophet. That from today, may you never see darkness again. I say in your journey there shall be no darkness. Your heaven is too to receive something better. I say you shall not find darkness in the name of Jesus. No darkness in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' precious name. And amen. Now here he said, you have to see God. You have to see God. There are two things that happen when you see God. But let me show you. Psalms chapter 34 from verse 10. Psalm 34, the first time. In bracket to the ocean. Is anybody there? Psalm 34, verse 10. You have to see God to be able to stay away, to stay far from invisible barriers. Amen. If nothing must be hidden from you again, the somebody has to see God. And here we say, verse 10. The young lion do lack and the suffer hunger. You see that? That suffering there is a manifestation of invisible. Is anybody with me? If you are hungry, you feel it in your body that you are hungry. It is a manifestation. Manifestation is a physical thing you can see, you can feel. Amen. If you have egg in your head, it is physical. If your body, if you're hungry, if your stomach is if it's empty, you feel hungry, you feel it on your physical body. Yes, he said, the long yet lion shall suffer lack and suffer hunger. Amen. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger. That means suffer manifestation. But they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good. The word yeah. wanted that means lack. Amen. Amen. He that seek God <laughs> will never lack anything at all. Hear me. Whatever thing you're looking for is a good thing. Somebody wants to get married, it's a good thing. You want to build a house, it's a good thing. You want to live healthy, it's a good thing. You want to get your dog, but anything is it you are looking for is a good thing. You say you shall not like good things. But sometimes those good things are hidden in the spiritual. They're hidden in the spiritual. Amen. Amen. Now hear me. Not only the devil, I devil. If you 
years ago, about four, five years ago, I was praying with someone who traveled to Nigeria. The person could not come. I was praying, and something came. You know that I called the person. I said, I described the marketplace in the front of the house. He said that there's a market a market in that. I said, in the evening, take about two people with you. Go there with the hole in the house. I described behind the pole, there's no particular bush. And they live between some shops that people are not using. Till around that place, we shall find the market. It was it was like a this Because this guy traveled to Nigeria. They, they tore that place. This is not. It's not a phrase. This is life. And they put the document. Another one left home, went to Nigeria. And when he got to Nigeria, he said, he was, he didn't know where he kept his document. That now he was looking for it. He didn't know where he kept it. He said, I now appeared in the dream. I said to him, This is where your document is. He was looking for the document in the dream. And he said, I appeared and said, This is your document. Pick it up and he turned back in the room. He said, When he woke up, he looked for He said, This is his document here. He said, This is your document here. He, he's supposed to come back a long time. He went and he left. In the next two days, he was off. He said, if he stay more than that, he will not come back. Fear will kill People can hide something that is that, that belongs to you. Keep it in your mind. And That he was hidden in the marketplace. And they took that place and they bought it in the bar. And they got it. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. So everything that is hidden from you, whatever thing that has been stolen from you and be hidden in a secret place, Amen. and you are looking for the physical you cannot find in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the light of God shine. Amen. May God bring them out where they are hidden. And they buried in the ground or thrown in the sea. I command them to return back to you. Amen. I shall return back to you Amen. in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. And amen. He said, Seek God. Seek Him. Because the young lion lack. The young youth men lack this trouble for nothing. And then, and then, but any one of you who has lacked and, then, and suffer hunger, if you can summon courage and seek God, uh -huh, then you will never lack anything. May good things go by the path for me from the day. In the name of Jesus, the good things are the manifestations of what you want. If they are not happening, good things are not happening, that means they are hidden somewhere. They hear me. Whatever thing that is hidden from you, stolen from you, taken from you, buried, thrown in the sea, high somewhere, by the power of light, by the power of resurrection, by the power of redemption. I command the grass to be open. Yeah. I command the sea to roll. Yeah. And they bring out that which you have swallowed yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hear me. I pray for your mighty ring. Yeah. I pray for your mighty garment yeah. that has been swallowed by a particular demon in the sea. May that sea roll by fire. Yeah. Every sea that is contained, carrying a demon, carrying a dragon. Swallow your wedding ring, you swallow your, your wedding carpet. I pray in the name of Jesus. By this prayer, by this message, let the sin become uncomfortable. Let the sin roll. Let God trouble their stomach. Let God trouble them right now. And let them forbid out whatever thing they have swallowed that it belongs to you. In the name of Jesus. I saw in the Bible where the Bible says. The serpent, the python that swallowed the riches of men. 
shall forgive them again. The day I saw that the Bible, I was for me. He said, the, 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 the Python that swallowed riches. He called the Python serpentine spirit. Some live in the pool, some live in the sea, live in diverse places. And when they swallow the riches, that is a power, one of the places they hide the poor riches. You will struggle on earth here, looking for money, looking for things you will not find it. You may not know that it has been hidden in the belly of a particular spirit of demon. Here in the name of Jesus, whatsoever thing that has positioned itself like an animal and swallow something from you, as you hear my voice today, as you hear my voice, I command that thing to recover back to you. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, I the Lord shall cause that viper, but I shall cause the viper to forbid the riches of men, to forbid the riches. I command the power of the Lord to cause that viper to turn the sorrow of that viper, of that sea, of that of, of that serpent, of that dragon, wherever they are hidden, in the grave, in the bush, in the pit of hell, to trouble their stomach and they let them forbid out that which that be hidden in their stomach that belongs to them. In the name of Jesus, this for something will enter your head. I say something will enter your head. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Now you you, you seek God, but in seeking of God, two things must take place. Number one, you have to look at God's passion. Amen. You have to look at God's passion. You have to seek God so that you will be free. From arrow that attacks you spiritually, from the spiritual barriers and backgrounds, from the things that happen to you physically, from the spiritual. If you must be free from them, if you're already there, if God must bring them out, then you must learn how to seek God. Because if you see Him, you will not lack anything that is good. And then while you are seeking God, gaze your eyes on God's passion. What they are calling it? Your eyes on the passion of God. Get your eyes on the passion of God. See what God has done because of you. See how God allowed Jesus to die because of you. See what God has done, prepared because of you. Look at the love that is gushing from the eyes of God on you. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Look at the passion of God as you seek Him. Inside seeking Him, look for His passion. If God has passion on you, your case is settled. Now look at what happened. Look at it again. Um, um, Psalm, uh, Psalm 14. Psalm 14. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 14. This was 14, right? Psalm chapter 14, verse, verse 2. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men. You see that? He said, God is in heaven. The wise is sitting in heaven. He looked down from heaven upon the children of men. Somebody say passion. Say passion. This is passion. This is passion. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men. To see if there were any that did understand and seek God and, and seek God, they all they are all gone aside, they are all together become filthy. There is no that is doing good, no one. Your eyes go through and through. 
If your eyes is upon your children, then no evil will come that shall be formed against them shall be Because you will not allow any harm to be formed. Therefore, may the eyes of God be kept permanent. I say, may the eyes of God be kept permanent upon your life and the life of your entire family. In the name of Jesus, may God see them before they come near you. Oh, come on, your heaven is too poor. I said, may God see them before they come near you. I said, may God see them before they attack you. I said, may God see them before they attack you. May God see them before they near you. May God see them before they plan your downfall. May God see them before they plan your evil. May God see them before they strike you. May God see the hour before it comes. May God see their gathering. May God hear their whispering. May God see their plan against you. And may God scatter them before the plan. In the name of Jesus. How the eyes of God are upon you now. In Jesus' name. As you seek God, then place your eyes on the passion of God. The number two thing there is look at his assurance. Amen. Look at the assurance of God. That same, that same, uh, uh, that same Psalm, Psalm 9, Psalm 19, and in Psalm 19, look at the assurance. Has he said anything? Will he not do it? Amen. Now, in Psalm 9, Chapter 9, verse, verse what? Ten. Verse 10. And he said, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Somebody say assurance. assurance. This is assurance that I will put my trust in. Let me tell you. Nobody puts trust in the things he is not sure. When you put your trust in God, it ensures that whatever you trust in for will surely come. Amen. To be free from this spiritual attack that comes from different places. It comes from my father's house, my mother's house, all those rubbish that happens to you. To be free from them, learn how to seek God all day. And while you are on the journey to seek God, look at His passion. And then put your eyes on His assurance. Can we leave it to Him? And He said, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek Him. May you not be forsaken. Yeah. I said, You shall not be forsaken. Yeah. Whatever thing you stand to ask God, you shall not be forsaken. Amen. God will not deny you anything you ask of Him. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody need to seek God. You need to look at His passion and then put your trust. Be assured that God will see you too. And then look at number two thing here is set time with God. Set and spend time with God. Hallelujah. Set and spend time with God. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 6. Set and then spend time with God. I want to be free from everybody. All this go here for me. And what did they talk about? Uh, how would I want to know what they work? And I just tell what people, all this work out for me, run here and there, go to that prophet, go to that river, go to all those things may not be necessary if you seek God for you. Amen. If God be for you. And God cannot be for you what you seek Him and find Him. Hear me? When you seek God and find God, and as you found Him, He is with you. He is for you. If God be for you, what can be against you? Nothing can be against you. The problem is that God needs to be there. Praise the Lord. So you have to set time and do what? And spend time with God. Hear this. Let me ask you to open. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Break every yoke. Are you afraid to call it yoke? That is the barrier. That is the barrier. Amen. Amen. Yeah, break what? Yoke. Can we take it again? Let's take it. Let's take it. Six. Let's read it together. What to go? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To set the bounds of the wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, 
and to let your prince go free, and that ye break every yoke. Amen. That you can break what? Every yoke. That yoke there is the barrier. That's the barrier. Now let me tell you something. In those days, some of you know how to say this name. I think you, you, you see the picture of slave when the white men came to Africa and they took our ancestors in you know, slavery. They took them. You know how they carried them? They put them on their head. They put them on their, on their, their legs and their ribs. They were drunk, dragging them. Now, those chains on their neck and their ribs are slaves. It's called the yoke. That's why he said, on that day, the yoke should be broken off. Yeah. So, this is the slave. But today, that yoke is not physical, it's spiritual. Listen, anytime somebody is having a look on his neck, when the enemy ties someone, tie a cord or a, 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 a cord or a yoke or a rope on somebody's neck, and then tie the person attached to the tree, that is when you find yourself marooning about. Here, the Bible talk about the, 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 the two. He said, Go into the village and go for a gate, you shall find a donkey. He said, Lose the donkey and bring the donkey to me. Now, why did he say, Lose the donkey? Because the donkey was tied. And where they tied the donkey, the donkey was a tie attached to a tree. And the donkey was feeding on the feet that surrounds that tree. Can I tell you something? Anytime you find yourself, start eating and then start doing well. All of a sudden, the things you are doing is no longer bringing good results. That is to say that the ones that we did, that is within your reach, has finished. Take it again. If you tie a good on the tree, by a goat on this tree, to feed. The goat can only eat the grass ahead of him according to the length of the rope. So where the rope stops is where you eat it. Even though you look at the grasses, you cannot eat the grass because there is something on the neck. Many of us have good desires. We see good things every day. But I'm not to it. All this parable of I and uh, what are they saying? The eyes see the hand noise. This is parable from the pit of hell. Praise the Lord. It's a parable from where? From the pit of hell. I reach. Now I will feel it better. I will see the hand of you. Where are you feeling? Because something is holding on a particular place. The ones we are feeling on our face, they cannot disturb the things. Now that is a holding and touch to that thing is called yoga. Put your hand. Put your hand in the yoga. Every yoke that is on the neck of everyone, whatever thing that stands that is is a yoke on your body, on your neck, any part of your body that is a yoke, in the name of Jesus, I live on this altar by one day to pray on someone that is having a yoke on his neck. May that yoke from this moment be broken. I said, I command that yoke to be broken. I shall be broken, be broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. He said, It shall come to pass on that day. Somebody say, On that day. Say, On that day. Say, It shall come to pass on that day that the yoke shall be broken off your neck and the body shall be lifted off your shoulder because of the anointing, because of the power of God. Because of the power of God. And that power of God is what you get when you see God. Now, watch this. He said from the beginning, is this not the fast that I choose? What fast? What is fast? Fasting. Anytime you are fasting, what are you doing? You are creating a good chance to have time with God. Am I talking to somebody? Anytime you ask me to fast, what fasting makes you, what fasting means is to create opportunity for you to spend time with God. Can I tell you something again? Anytime you spend time with God, you are investing time. Time you spend with God is not time wasted, it is time invested. Do you know what I said? The time that you spend with God is 